We use Nielsen data, we use depletion data, and we're using store scan data where we have that access with our retail partners. One of the key things um, that can drag any company down is not having the right inventory at the right time. And many companies produce too much. We've used and built our own forecasting system. Uh, we've got a technology team that is A+. And our sales team on a monthly basis is updating their forecast. They put it in by stages and probability. And we have preset probabilities. The key thing in forecasting, in my view, is to eliminate bias. Our sales guys are very optimistic. And to eliminate the noise that gets in the way of making the right decisions. We are not perfect, but we strive to be better each day. So the, the process comes through. Our sales team updates their forecast. We have a data team that builds out trend. We use Nielsen data. We use depletion data and we're using store scan data where we have that access with our retail partners to build a trend and then sales initiatives are put on top. And those sales initiatives are studied, they're analyzed, they're comp if we have a display program with a particular retailer, how did it perform the last time we did this? And is it an additional 5,000 cases for a particular SKU or only 2,500? So we're using historical data to measure forward-looking uh, sales initiatives. That then goes to a group that creates a demand plan, and that's our technology and data scientists that look at the demand plan and determine what they believe will happen. What we historically see is a sales forecast here, a demand plan here, and then the leadership group on a monthly basis evaluates the demand plan, the sales forecast, decides how much risk we're willing to accept and we create an operating plan. That operating plan drives our financial forecast and our production planning. That operating plan usually is between, on the low side, the demand plan, on the high side, the sales forecast, and we're usually somewhere in the middle there. And we do it with eyes wide open. When we uh, evaluate the results from the prior month, we take that into account, and we see often that we start trending closer, in some instances, to the demand plan, versus the sales forecast. In other instances, the demand plan was understated and we trend closer to the sales forecast. So we make those adjustments on a monthly basis.